On second thought, why not stay? Now, how can I ease your troubles? You arrange a bath, I need a wash. Magnificent. You'll feel renewed in no time. Out of the way, please. I'm seeing lots Careful of then. customers lately. Excuse me. For Christ's sake. Would you like help in there? Maybe another time. No harm done. You just relax. Right back in again. How did that Just work? get out of my way. Hey, watch yourself. Oh dear. I'm going belly. Sorry. Up. Out of the damn. What the hell's wrong with you? Fine. We'll put an end to that. All right. Girl. Self to ruin. I'm taking a liking to killing you. You ain't boy. much of a fighter, huh?
the? You've caused your last lick of trouble in this store. Is that clear? Oh, good. My favorite customer. All right. Here it is. Put this. Hurry the hell up. Guess that's done. Look out. Easy there. Demonstration of my most marvelous machine, the humane electric. <laughs> You're going to be in a better place. Stay calm, breathe deep, and repent, or you will be moved to a better realm. Ladies and gentlemen, behold. The calm removal of this man's existence! <laughs> So 
humane! seem overly humane to me. I think it's mighty fine. Chateaunay, the painter! <laughs> okay. What are you dressed up like that for? Oh, I am a wanted man, persecuted for my art! As bad as it is, <laughs> I don't think that the art is the problem. In Paris, they say leave! Go far away! We will never understand you here! I say, I go to Saint-Denis! They say that is not far enough! <laughs> it seems to me that they were right. But it doesn't matter. Now, I go to South Pacific. They always tell me the light there is perfect for my work. Well, so long as they weren't telling you that just to get you on the other side of the world. Perhaps. It doesn't matter. Help me get to the next ship. They are watching the port, and I need a chaperone. <sighs> okay, come on. Oh.
I'll tell you what I want, miss. Civilization! So repressive! So stifling! I can hardly breathe in this city! Yeah, I kinda know what you mean. Why I thought I would find my way in a country founded by Puritans, I'll never know! I know those men! Oh, I shot on a bar! Quick, behind here! Keep up! Keep up! Come on! <laughs> we are away! Come now! Follow me! Those fellas... You... You... Shat on their bar? But of course! I needed to shit! Hey, come on! My fresh excrement was better than any of the drinks they served in there! Remind me to avoid that place. Back, back. The moneylenders. We go another way. A man owes us money. Hey! We go through here. What's this? Quickly! <gasps> But I knew him. <laughs> Please do not do that again. <sighs> now get moving, come on. <gasps> so, wait. You ain't so none of your work. There is always a heavy demand for fresh mediocrity, but new kinds of failures. Not so much. The new kinds? The holy nothing. We go fair. Where are you going, pretty lady? Anywhere you want, mon ami. Oh, oh my goodness. <clears throat> We are in Saint-Denis, after all. What are you looking at? Bar shitting, money borrowing, wife stealing. You sure got a way of ingratiating yourself with people. If the purpose of life was to be liked, it would be very boring indeed. I've developed the feeling the purpose ain't to be hated. Hate, love, they are the same. I provoke, I challenge, I amuse, do I not? With my impropriety, a mediocre life is meaningless. A bold life filled with art and truth, dirty truth. Look at you, pretty little thing. Woo! Hello, boys. Come on. Come on back now, baby. The sailors know who they're bunking with. We have many weeks together. We will get to know each other well. Well, good luck to all of you. Relax. Hey, up here. She is my ship. <sighs> we made it. Let's go. Oh, no, 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 no. I got it. He's out oh. here. Charles, come on. You better hope this ship's leaving soon. Oh, merci, merci. All aboard for the South Pacific. Adieu. Merci, mon ami. So long. If they don't like you in the islands, keep on going to the South Pole. Ah, yes. I hear there. The light is really fantastic. Ah, au revoir. Folks, just 
just keep it moving. The law will handle this.
Hey there. Welcome. Thanks. And now the two of you have betrayed me at once. Do you know what betrayal Everything means, okay? Bertram? Imagine saving people, Girl. taking them to your breast, and metaphorically, I mean, like a mother, caring and raising them, and then they go and stab you in the back. Have you ever betrayed a close friend? I hope not. Well. Treachery. And these are sad, low, unlovable people, and I made them stop. Dreamers, entertainers, and they... Oh, no, now family's not enough. No, no, he's gone off alone. My little oh, tiny magician has gone and stabbed his mom on the back. Oh, fuck it, he... No, Bertram, Bertram, Bertram! Woof, woof! Bertram, put the nice man down! Do something, he'll eat him! Um, uh, e e easy there. Uh, easy there! Bertram! Easy, big guy. Uh, not nice! Enough! Cut that out! That! Bertram uh, got a whoop save! No fair! Nah, I don't want to do this! Ouchie! You don't stop that mummy, he'll give you a spanking! Mean man! Bad, Bertram! Come here, Bertram. <laughs> oh, yes, Marjorie's here. No one's gonna hurt you ever again. Mama, you should keep that thing in a cage. You should think about who you're serving. Give me a beer, will you? Don't worry, we'll pay for what we broke. Come here, Bertram. Oh, no one looks after you like Mama does. No one cares for you like I do. Especially not that Magnifico, hmm? But he's my friend. Yes, well, if he were your friend, he'd be here, wouldn't he? He wouldn't have abandoned us. Oh, you wouldn't have gotten that whoopsie, would you? Whoopsie heart. I know. Mama's gonna make it all better. But first, you gotta tell me where that little worm ran off to, hmm? Bertram promise. Yes, well, Magnifico made a promise, too, huh? He made more than a promise. He made a contract, and he broke it. So you just tell me exactly where he is, and then we will all be even. That's my boy. He's camping in the woods. Why didn't you tell me in the first place? You just apologize to these men. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. You gave me a whoopsie. Hey, you just stay away from that sherry now, you hear? Bertram likes sherry. Oh, don't you get him started. Thank you for all of your help, Mr. Stranger. If you see that slippery little fella sleeping rough out there, would you just make a little racket and then we'll come along and we'll find you? I could try. Oh, his name is Magnifico. You'll know him when you see him. Come along, Bertram. I ain't drunk, all right? Stop, Thor, 
Oh, that's amazing. If you say so. Are you, uh, ah! Are you Magnifico by any chance? I'm not going back. She's a witch. She's a witch. Who? Presta. Well, Marjorie. she cares about you a lot. Well, I'm the talent. It's me. It's all me. I share the money with her and, uh, you know, that thing. No, stay away. You've made love to her, haven't no, you? That's not She's it. a succubus. She's a succubus. Ah! Ah! Stay away from me. Hey, Harner, come back here. Look, you got the wrong end of this. Running ain't solving anything. Hey, will you talk? I'm going it alone! Where are you gonna go? You're starting to irritate What the hell are you pulling here? You're here, I'm gonna find you. Ooh. <laughs> That's a neat trick. It's steak dinner. Damn it. Now where you gone? Magnifico! Can't magic out of this, partner. Come on now, she ain't as bad as all that. Over here, dummy. Well, ain't you led me on a merry old dance? Come on down now. Lady said you had a contract. You want me? Come and get me. <laughs> hey, uh, hold on there. Ah, so damn it. long, dummy. Where are you? You really? little.
damn it! Ah! Oh! 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 But, but, oh no! 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 Oh, 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 no! I can't! Oh, 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 no! 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 Put me down! I ain't back. I'm gone on the next train to the Great White Way. Really? You got enough for a ticket? Pa. Because the way Big Fanny tells it, you spent all of our takings on a case of the French pox. Maybe I did. So what? What do you need a stump of a showman for? Same bad jokes? The same cheap tricks? In a package half the size? You got Bertram. You got Dummy over there. Who is Dummy anyway? The missing link? Ha 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 ha. Shut up, you dimwit. You sold me out. You should watch your mouth. You don't need me. You're better off without me. Even you, Dummy. Go on, clear off. Aim for the top, all of you. I'm out of food and I'm out of ideas. Leave me for the bears. I won't be more than a mouthful. You robbed me. Whoa. You robbed uh, your brother. So you are going to be pulling oh. rabbits out of your ass until you are as old as you are tiny. Put them up there. Oh, some friends, some friends. We ain't friends. No. We're family, as much as it pains me to say it. Family? Still after everything? Well, of course, you silly little man. And him? Let him at the bar agree to help. Ah, sleeping rough don't suit me much. I uh, know. Come to Mama. Oh, I did miss you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, don't you ever run off on us like that again. Back together. Back together. Well, I'm glad it all worked out. Thanks to you. Thank him, boys. Thank you. Uh, thanks for nothing, dummy. No get in the back. We ought to give you a piece of the gate on our next show. You earned it. Huh? We'll be playing Saint Denis next. Check with the box office. Here. No one said anything about splitting the gate. Oh, shut up. Half man and half wit. Bye bye. What I done to deserve you too? Lend a coin to a fella in need? Go get yourself something to eat. Sir, I want you to have this. Thanks, friend. It's nice to give something instead of just begging.
Hey, uh, the performers asked me to come see them here. I helped them out with something up in Van Horn. All right, I'll let them know you're in. Curtain's just about to come up, so why don't you take a seat, then come back in and see me after the show. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. I am your host, Aldridge T. Abington. Thank you. Yes, Aldridge T. Abington. Few men have had a career more crowded with incident and various intercourse with the world than I. Phony. During extensive travel through this and foreign lands, I have procured a show so fantastical there exists Nothing like it. Anywhere. In an effort to bring this entertainment to even the poorest dreamer of dreams, I have determined the ticket price should be very low. And the show held without a profit to me. It's Come true. On. For it is blessing enough to bring these gifted artists to you. I met these odd fellows in a tavern in some godforsaken place, entertaining cretins. They are quite a capricious bunch, presenting Miss Marjorie and her medical miracles. I'm a master of apparition! Oh my god! And dissipation! 
and even the art of <laughs> Transfiguration! Wow. <laughs> All right. Oof. What the hell is I that? have mastered hypnosis, telekinesis, How telepathy, and escapology. And now, for my next feat, I will relieve Miss Marjorie of her for this. Doing your nasty little pervert? What? We were gonna give them a show. You're not like that, you're not. I give up. Amateurs. Go follow your brother. Well, tiny people and tiny-headed giants, curious things. They are a delight and can make you money. So, before you snuff out that oddly-shaped baby, bring them to me! Trash! I discovered this next act in a tiny village in Italy. Truly the most exotic of places in the world. He was just a ten-year-old boy. I raised him. Nobody I bathed cares. Him. I shaved him from head to toe. He is truly a wonder to behold. Presenting Benjamin Lazarus. and mystical prowess, my dear ladies and Phonies. gentlemen. Now, it's unfortunate fact that in this mortal coil we are all born to suffer from all manner of maladies in daily life. Who here has not had a friend or loved one near death's door from coal gas fumes, typhoid fever, diphtheria, or the bite of a rabid animal? The greatest oh. wealth is your health. All the gold in the world cannot purchase it, and yet it is the most delicate and tenuous of all life's gifts. Go. And nothing oh. knocks down death's door faster than this. <laughs> a man cannot outrun a bullet. Many fools have tried and failed in this endeavor, including the tonic salesman I caught petting my wife. <laughs> I joke. I joke. <laughs> I assure you, he has met his maker and they are playing gin rummy among the molten lava of Hades. <laughs> I have traveled all around the world, delighting young and old with all manner of feats of amazement. But none are as dangerous as what I am prepared to attempt tonight. I will hand this Didi Packenbush revolver over to my assistant and stand at considerable distance across the stage. She will point the revolver at my head and pull the trigger using lightning quick reflexes taught to me by a tiny man I met in the distant Orient. I will catch the bullet in my Do teeth. something we care about. Yes. My teeth. To prove that these are indeed live rounds, if my sharpshooting assistant would be so kind as to shoot this bottle of Lalicola off my head. This is insane. Yeah! Off my head. Here we go. Careful. Yeah. I could do without a bullet in the brain right now. It's all hey. nonsense. Oh my god. Sweet Jesus. That bit always scares me. <laughs> now, observe. As I, the great Benjamin Lazarus, will do what no this is a man has ever show. done and cheat death! As if it were nothing.
let's do that again. Hmm? Right. Hmm. Take it. You're pulling my leg. This is a bunch of dang balderdash. Ah. Oh, damn. <laughs> a skeptic. Hmm? Ah. And Benjamin Lazarus. I assure you, I am not participating in some hoax or carnival ruse. These bullets are 100% real. In fact, I challenge any member of the audience to come forward with their own firearm, and I will yet again display my uncanny skill to catch a bullet in my teeth. Alright, let's go. Fantastic. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I will prove to you I am the greatest entertainer to ever live, and the only man who laughs at death. Now, ready? Hey, Kay. Oh, gonna fight is too much. This is incredible. And fire. of incredibility. I told you that boy would bring you all manner of personal satisfaction. Ah! He certainly does me. <laughs> now, I discovered this next remarkable woman in a lost jungle, <laughs> deep in the wilds of Colombia, where they do not wear clothes. She breathes fire. Yes, she does. And for those with the universal and not unworthy curiosity, yes, I can attest, she does emit fire from almost every orifice this in her is off. <laughs> Presenting Antoinette San Servino!
set your backside on fire. Oh, no. Oh, goodness. My goodness. That man's hat was alight. <laughs> Antoinette Sansorvino. We She's need another really uh, something, isn't she, huh? Uh, she's certainly singed the better elements of my manliness. <laughs> oh, thank you. I discovered this next woman in the kingdom of Poland, where she sang by the roadside, subsisting on coppers tossed at her feet. Miss Robin Koninsky. It's crazy. Hello. Thanks for joining us today. This here is a new song about a so-called modern improvement you may have become aware of called the telephone. Yeah. This new machine will carry a facsimile of your voice from Blackwater to Valentine to San Denis. And they propose to distribute them to all manner of places so that no matter where you are, Somebody is looking for you. A wise man prayed that one day we may all eventually be gathered together in a heaven of everlasting rest and peace and bliss, except for the inventor of the telephone. Because someone is always calling, saying, Hello. 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 I've got a little baby. I talk to him across the telephone. I can't see my honey, but he's mine, all right. This gal just can't Time leave for a man different Every single morning you will hear me yell. He central picks me up along the line. Yeah. He connect me with my honey, and I ring my bell. And this is what I say to baby mine. Ah. Blackwater calling. Hello. This morning through the phone they said he'd been with Bess and told me exactly where he's at. Now I'm headed out of town to his address. That man better hold on to his hat. I sure do worry that the wires might get crossed and this will separate me from. Quite something. Yeah, I gotta go deal with this. Oh, there's something here for you. Oh, good luck. These novelty acts. Don't get this with dancing girls.
Are you well? I'm really not too bad. I'm glad to hear it. Let me vote. How is it with you? It's been a trying few days. Ready to take your chances here? It's quite a party the mayor had. But can you believe that awful man, Angelo Bronte, was there? Up on his own balcony. Yes, indeed. Suppose I must be going. Farewell. That's a no-point move. Dang. Let's fix this. Can you hurry up? No points here. nothing. I got a pass. That's what I was looking for. Good for you, Dom. Yes. In no. Ain't got much for you. Nothing for you. Well, I don't think this will help you too much. They don't got the grit to see it through. <laughs> 